Now I will introduce you to rational numbers. Madam, which numbers are rational numbers? Wait, wait. Have patience. To understand rational numbers, we will consider some examples. Just observe them carefully. Minus 2 plus 3 is equal to plus 1. 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Here, the answers obtained are plus 1, minus 1 and 12. Now, can you tell me which type of numbers are these? Madam, these are integers. Correct. This means that integers can be added, subtracted and multiplicated to get integers. But students, note that this cannot be always true in case of division. Madam, why is it not possible in case of division? Suppose, if I take an example, 8 divided by 2, it is equal to 4, and 4 is an integer. Then why is it not possible in case of division? Even though the answer obtained is an integer? Yes, it is correct. But if you take an example, 5 divided by 15, it is equal to 1 upon 3. And 1 upon 3 is not an integer. Which means that numbers like P upon Q can be included in rational numbers where Q should not be equal to 0. Since any number cannot be divided by 0. Then, can you give me some more examples? Mm, 3 upon 4 minus 5 upon 3 and 2 upon 3. Okay. Now I will ask you one question. See whether you can answer it. Tell me, are natural numbers included in rational numbers? No ma'am. Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And they cannot be written as P upon Q. And they are not in the form of P upon Q. No, you are wrong. Natural numbers can exist in the form of P upon Q. For example, consider any number. Suppose 3. 3 can be written as 3 upon 1. Similarly, if I consider 17, 17 can be written as 17 upon 1. Okay ma'am. I have understood it very well. This means that whole numbers, integers are also included in rational numbers. Exactly. Now you have understood rational numbers very well.